My name is Jeff McDonald. I'm the Vice President of the NIM Foundation. We are registered in Singapore and we have 70 uh, full-time employees around the world. Our goal is to educate and teach about the NIM blockchain technology. So we have the foundation and then we have the technology. The technology is a decentralized blockchain platform all over the world. NIM started in January of 2014. It took 14 months of development and then we launched in late March of 2015. That was really good. We've been trading for more than three years. It's a very stable and secure blockchain. 27 months ago, the developers started on the next update of NIM and that's called Catapult. And that's a major rewrite and update. So if you imagine it took 14 months for the original NIM, which is awesome. Yeah. All the things that we can expect with Catapult, which is 27 months in development. Okay, then what's special about Catapult? Everything. Okay, just one thing to yeah. share with our viewers. Um, you know, Catapult has advanced one-time use smart contracts, which nobody's ever done before. Uh, it has a MongoDB and API server, which nobody's ever done before. It has multi-layered and or multi-save, which nobody's ever done before. It's just unlocking some real potential of the blockchain and we're solving problems that have quite frankly plagued all blockchains. So we're looking to make a secure and scalable solution for everybody to develop on. No, oh, yeah, I mean, the, the thing that really sets them apart is that we work. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, We've never had a multi-sig contract break ever. Uh, we've never had any asset contracts get messed up. Because of our architecture, where the smart contracts are built directly into the core for things like smart assets, programmable money, name domains, uh, multi-signer contracts, they're built directly into the core and so they just work. They're light and they're efficient. Where other blockchain platforms try to build those on top of the blockchain in type of inside of a, a contracts, where NIM incorporates them directly in. Basically, NIM is the best platform for developers to develop on if someone's looking to get into blockchain. Have the lead developer of the company look at Ethereum, look at Bitcoin, look at NIM, look at Ripple, and then let the lead developer tell the CEO which platform is the best. And usually, not always, because different platforms have specialized in different areas. Some are good at some things. NIM's not perfect at everything. But usually, NIM will be the choice of the lead developer. Yeah, I mean, look, um, when NIM launched, we traded under a million dollars for quite a long time. We're self-funded for the first couple years and now we're very well funded and we're trying to uh, increase our marketing worldwide. So this has been really in the last six months. We're looking forward to consensus in New York. Uh, we'll have over 50 people from our organization represented at, at that conference, which is a major conference. And we'll do another one and another one and another one after it. Okay, that's it for today, and thank you for sharing your time. No, thank time. you, thank yeah. you. Yep. Next time as well. Okay, yeah, sure. Katame.